Hello once again, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. We're continuing our video series on our E-mini Bull Bear Basic Free Method. Last time we left off when we were showing the black bar only with uh, some trend lines. And, and now we want to kind of define, uh, and as we talked in the last video, I, I had kind of said, hey, in the next video we're going to talk about uptrends and downtrends. And let me show you how I define the uptrend. It, it's on a basic concept called a green bar. Green up, we're going to look at red down and green up. So let's look at the upside first. So now we're looking at 11.30-2009 and I want you to notice that we have a green bar uh, through here. So we have some green through here and we have some green through here. So what we see right now is we see a possible uptrend through this area, possible uptrend through here, and a possible uptrend through here. Just looking at our green as, as we define uh, our green bars defining what could be a possible uptrend. And if we define this a little bit further, we could look at, so we can start adding some trend lines into the market here. There's one, and we can see, hey, there's perhaps a possible uptrend through here. And we have one more possible uptrend. going up through here. So what we're looking at is, is just simply looking at the green. Now a trading strategy that, that you know some individuals just look at is you know buy the green and when you see a black get out. Buy the green, black get out. Buy the green. Here's a, a green up through here. This looks like this would have been a little bit of a win. And here's a nice little trade right here. Buy the green and then sell off the black. So here's our, our, our green right here. And we wouldn't have been able to see this black bar until it actually closed. So there's our black bar right there, giving us roughly $187.50 worth of profit. Uh, and let's take a look at the downside here. So this is buy the green. So in this case, uh, before we look at the buy side, so you understand we're going long. We're going long on green. So if you see in this strategy, if you see the green bar, now we're going to define what in a future video, we're going to really hone in on what's a good trade, what's a bad trade. But just so you understand basics right now, the green is helping you determine, in this case with our template, how the green bar could so show a possible long. So right now you're looking at a possible, just without anything else taken into account, about 187.50 right here. So now let's take a look at the short side. Okay, so I took the green off, but I've left the uptrend lines on here on the chart so that we can see. Now what we can see is we see uh, a red here. If we just sold here, we would have had a uh, loss here. We sold here, that would have been our loss here. Here looks like a, a nice signal right here. We would have sold here and we would have bought back roughly in this range. So the, although it's just showing a minus 250, this is actually a positive 250. So uh, we see in our area that we have a nice little $250 win right through here. And we have a nice upside win and let's add back in. Now before we add that back in, let's make it clear that if we see red, we want to short the market. We want to sell it. We're looking for the market to go down. Green going up, red coming down. Let's bring the, the green back on the charts here. So what we're looking at here possibly is three nice trading opportunities in the day, and then we had several losses. So we had a little bit of a win here, a nice downside win, short side, dark side win, and we finished up the day over here with a nice upside win over here too as well. We can see an area through here, remember we talked about trading ranges. We can see an area through here that perhaps is n there is an area where you want to stay away from the market. We can further define this trading range bringing it up here as opposed to this point. So you can see an area inside our uh, and we're going to de further define why this is not such a great time to trade in this little area, why it's better to trade here, why it's better to trade here, and why it's better to trade here. We're going to further define this strategy 
Uh, in future videos, we're going to take a look at our moving average lines. We're going to look at our CCI, and we're going to look at volume. We're going to continue to build this strategy right from the ground floor all the way up so that you have a valid way of being able to trade one contract for profit in the E-mini S&P. This is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. I thank you for your attention. I look forward to the next video. hope to have it out within the next couple of days because I want to continue and move forward on this. Uh, so this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Wish you all the best in your trades. Good trades, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.